Hello guys, how it's going? And today I'm gonna teach you about some conditional operators. So, what's about conditional conditional operators? As um, we say, five is greater than three, or three is equal to one, or something like that. So, let me uh, add a comment and just. Uh, let me uh, do some easier for you to learn. Now, this, this is a less than operator. This is a greater than operator. This is the less than or equal to operator. Greater than or equal to operator. Or you can uh, you can also say not equal to operator. This is a equal to operator. So let me uh, evaluate this on function. Let me uh, introduce a as 4 then I'll create another if statement so sorry if is a is less than 5 then um, okay if a is less than 5 then begin and I'll end oh my bad begin and end then what I'm gonna do is to just create a right line function right line and then right line and then uh, a sorry a is less than 4 okay and then what I'm gonna do uh, else if I'm gonna else if and I'm gonna write if a is greater than 5 then begin and end right line right oh, right right line and then um, a is greater than 5 okay well that's all right and now what I'm gonna do is to create an else statement else begin and end and we put a simple sign over there and uh, right line right line and sorry right line what we are right is some kind of like mm, I can't progress Now let us come out and go ahead and run it. I think it should be printed out a is less than four. Oh, sorry. Is not less than four. It's less than five. It's a problem. So sorry about that. And make sure I add a red line right down there. Uh, what's that? Okay, a is less than five. Okay, that this is printed on the screen, and that's how you can. Uh, that's how you can add. Uh, you can use the conditional operators in a statement or while statement, or while loop. You'll learn about that later. For loops, while for loops, you'll learn about that later. So thanks guys for watching, and uh, subscribe for more.